Good morning. Question, who is the ultimate physician? Let's look at Mark today. We're looking at the verses, the story we left out yesterday. This is Mark 5, verses 25 through 31. I'll read it right now. Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years and had suffered many things from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment, for she said, If only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, You see the multitude thronging you, and you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see her who had done this thing, but the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. So, the touch of faith, that's what this woman has. And Jesus is the conduit for God's power. Jesus had set his powers aside, but he... He still was kind of like an antenna, you know. He still was God, and God's power would work through him. And, and so, of course, this woman, when she touches him, when she touches him with, with a heart of faith, she's healed. Uh, all the doctors, all the things that she did didn't help, but uh, we find here that she was helped by Jesus. Who is the ultimate physician? Of course, the answer, of course, Jesus is. Jesus is. And he calls us to exercise the faith that he gives us. A lot of times we want Jesus to do the healing, a lot like a modern doctor. We just want to go and, you know, give me the prescription, I'm going to go down and take the pills. But we've got something to do, you know. We need to maintain our own health with our own exercise program, maybe eating the right foods and those kinds of things. Those things will help us and help us to be cooperating with what God wants to do. So there's always a part for us. Here's a woman who reaches out. She's very humble. She doesn't try to get up in his face or anything and say, hey, what about me? She just reaches up and just touches touches his garment. But oh, was he glad that she's healed. And what does he say to her at the end? What does he say? Go in peace and be healed. He says, your faith has made you well. God wants you and I to exercise some faith. And I think the world could use Christians exercising a bit more faith. That would be wonderful. Let's pray together. Your Father in heaven, Thank you for the gift of a mind, a heart, a will, and all that can be exercised towards you. Uh, you give us strength. You inspire us by your Holy Spirit. You, you, you come into our heart. And Lord, I would just pray that every person would embrace that power, embrace your strength, the strength of the living God, and experience what it means to have your virtue come into us and change us from the inside out. So Lord, bless each of us this day, Lord, we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. God be with you today. Give you a, a special day as a follower of Jesus in a world that needs it. Maybe you have a thought that comes to mind, a case where you uh, exercised faith and you saw the hand of God work in your life. I would just invite you to add a note in the comment if you could take a moment because these things will strengthen others who come through and look at this video.